Today we want to talk about the defeat of the Mongols. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has manifested in the month of Ramadan great victories for the believers. Victories happen inside of ourselves. It is the victory over our nafs, our lower self. But victories also happened in our homes, in our societies, and sometimes epic victories happened in different parts of the world. And one of the most decisive, epic struggles in the history of Islam took place 658 years after the Hijrah, and, and that is when the Mongol invasion had captured Baghdad. And the Mongols had come across, they had taken Syria, they were threatening to come down into Mecca and Medina, they threatened the people of Egypt, but by the mercy of Allah, Egypt was ruled by the Mamluks. And the Mamluks, who started off as slave mercenaries, came into power and into authority and became some of the most pious, striving people at the time. Amongst them was a great leader, Saif al-Din Qutus. And it is reported that he was able to unite the people of Egypt and to spread the word all around the Muslim world that we have to take a stand. The Mongols had terrorized our nations. The Mongols were threatening to destroy Medina, to desecrate the grave of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to destroy the Kaaba, and Muslims had to take a stand. But one of the obstacles in front of them was Ramadan. They were fasting. But this is not really an obstacle, because they understood the essence of Ramadan is striving. The essence of Ramadan is coming out of yourself, and it is to confront evil wherever you see it. And Sayyid Adin Qutuz was able to unite the believers and to bring them forward at a place called Ain Jalut, which is in present day Jordan. A terrible battle took place, but the believers totally annihilated the Mongols. Every single Mongol on the field was destroyed. A decisive battle. Mongols had never been defeated by anybody like this on the land. And it happened in Ramadan, and it had a ripple effect into Syria, into other parts. The Muslims called the Mongols to Islam, and they accepted Islam, many of them, and they became Muslim leaders. The Mughals came from their dynasties. But this essence this major transformation turning point took place in Ramadan, and it was in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, and Saif al-Din Qutuz told his believers before they went out in this epic battle, pray to Hajjud. Pray your evening prayers. Turn to Allah. And after Fajr, we face the enemy. That is the spirit of Ramadan. And I pray that we can all face our enemies, especially within ourselves, and that we can stand up for righteousness and justice throughout the land. And I pray that Allah would give uh, victory and liberation to the Muslims and to help the weak and the oppressed in this month of Ramadan.